I'm Pastor George Borkard, and this is another Higher Things Video Short. How forgiving should you and I be? That's the subject of today's Higher Things Video Short. Like, subscribe, ring the bell, donate. If you love our videos, if you love what we're doing, passing the faith to the next generation, like our videos, subscribe to our channel, ring the bell for notifications, and... Did you hear something? Donate. Your tax-deductible gift keeps higher things, a youth organization all about passing the faith to the next generation, keeps us a rolling. So we had a video last week, um, which had to be redone, and then this one had to be redone for the same problem. I did two videos without actually having sound. Um, last week's video is right there on how forgiving is Jesus. But this begs the question about also how forgiving should you and I be? Remember last week, Jesus says, every sin, everything you say about the Son of Man will be forgiven, every blasphemy and word spoken against him. So Jesus forgives every last sin spoken against him. And that's important because we need him to be such a Savior as to forgive us of everything we say about him. So all your uh, OMGs and JCs will be forgiven in his suffering and death. It's as if Jesus doesn't want anyone to go to hell for something against him. Uh, the blasphemy of the Holy Spirit's in there too. If you're thinking, well, the blasphemy of the Holy Spirit's not forgiven, that video right there too. So what do, what do we take from this? What do we learn from this? Well, what we learn from this is Jesus is such a God who wants to save, he forgives everything said about him. And so we too, being in him, being forgiven by him, being loved by him, will gladly forgive those who sin against us. How could we not? He has forgiven us everything we said about him. How could we not forgive those around us who say things about us? Notice that's different from, oh no, you didn't say that about me. Oh no, you didn't. Do you know who I am? Jump in your bed. Jump in your bed. They need to see you. Get in your bed. In your bed. There's a good boy. So what we learn is if Jesus forgives all our sins, we too should gladly forgive and do good to those who sin against us. If God shows us this example of forgiveness, that he is ready to forgive every last sin spoken against him, how can we not forgive others? What about the terrible things they do to us? What about the terrible things we do and say to him or have done to him? What about... um? What, but they hurt me. We hurt him. But I, I, again, I want you to understand, he knows how much you hurt. So it would be super helpful for you to remember how much he's forgiven. Um, and it's not your forgiveness that is going to hold the day with your neighbor. Because you will only forgive your neighbor until such time as your neighbor sins again. And then the next thing you know, you'll be like this. But if the forgiveness that you pass on is Jesus's forgiveness, well, then there's no end of the mercy, grace, forgiveness that you can pass on to others. My suggestion is if you have someone who's really, really hurt you is to start praying for them. Pray for your enemies. If you're praying for them, it will keep you from hating them because you can't hate somebody you're praying for. And then pray for God to help you forgive them. Pray for God to help you mercy them. Pray for God to help you begin to forgive them and to love them and to care for them. Because um, they're not worth going to hell over. Whatever they did isn't worth going to hell over. And you can't get forgiveness if you don't forgive. And so what I what I said, I totally missed. That was totally bad. That could be the worst throw that I've ever thrown in the history of throws. Please mock me. 
but there's forgiveness. And if there's forgiveness for you, there's also forgiveness for others. And so contemplate this. If Jesus is so forgiving as to forgive all our sin, we too should gladly do good and forgive those who've sinned against us. It starts with Jesus though. We love because he first loved us. We forgive because he forgave us first. I'm Pastor George Borkart, and this has been another Higher Things video short.